Hey, so we're checking out Showcase of Citrus today. It is free to go to and enjoy with your family and friends where you'll get the feel of the old Florida attractions in this orange grove with free parking and no admission fee to get in. Just simply walk on in and enjoy the quirky, vintage, and nostalgic memorabilia. During peak season of November to May, you can pick your own oranges here. Let's start with the free things that you can do here. You can enjoy the animals. There are many farm animals, but also some exotic animals that you can view. You also have access to their facilities and sitting areas, and also bar area. On some days, they have live music and host special events. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. There are a couple of playgrounds and lots of vintage rides for your children to play on. This is a list of all the things that they offer for an additional price. Basically anything that you or the animals consume, you will have to pay for. They have food trucks on site that will rotate and switch up often for variety. On this day they had a soul food truck, I think the other one was a Venezuelan truck and the Cuban food truck was closed on this day. We tried the food from the soul food truck and enjoyed it with a frozen slushy orange drink that they make fresh here. They have a variety of refreshing citrus drinks that are absolutely delicious in the Florida heat. We purchased our tickets for the monster truck online. Children under four are free, adults are $25, and then children four to 12 years old are $15. I did see the children's tickets discounted sometimes on Groupon. We followed the big footsteps until we got to the area where the monster truck is. You also have the option to buy some veggies that you can take along with you on the monster truck and feed the animals that you see along the way. The monster trucks are huge. They are 16 feet high, so we did have to use a ramp just to get up there. The guide would sometimes stop the truck and give us a little history of the citrus groves and also about all the kooky and quirky things that we were going to see along the way. Hey, as we head into Bigfoot territory, watch for the giant dragonflies and the butterflies along the way and Bigfoot's buddies out here chase a poacher up the tree. He's still up there. He's been up there now for about two, three days. And even if you don't purchase feed for the animals, you can still participate in giving them oranges and tossing it at them so they can eat it. <laughs> and they also gave us these little biscuit treats to give to the zebras. And I don't know if this happens all the time or just because it was really windy the day that we went, but the tires on the monster truck were kicking up a lot of dirt and it was flying all in our faces and all over us. So just be prepared for that. And another thing to keep in mind is that the grounds are very sandy. So your shoes and your feet, um, they're also gonna get pretty dusty. Now everywhere I looked, there was always something quirky, fun and interesting to see. And also make sure that you check out their stores. They have some really cool stuff in there. And we made sure that we got some of their locally harvested honey. And we also picked up some of their fruit wine. They even have swamp juice red wine. and many, many other handmade or local items.
The orange picking season had already ended when we went, but this is where you would normally go to start picking your own oranges. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos for more things to do around the Orlando area. Thank you so much for watching.